Hi, this is Carl again from the Flower Melon Trading Post in Missouri. And today we just like to show you a little video about the difference between revolvers and autoloaders. We have a lot of folks that come in looking for a firearm and we try not to just sell anything. We try to fit it to you. So with that in mind, we're going to talk about the difference between revolvers and autoloaders. Revolvers, they, where they come about by their name, is that they have so many chambers. Now, a revolver has, like this particular one, has six chambers. Each bullet would fit in each chamber, where an autoloader only has one chamber. And for it to function, when it fires, it has to extract the empty casing and strip another round out of the magazine into the chamber. So that's basically the difference between a revolver and an autoloader. But let's look at revolvers. We have single action revolvers and we have double action revolvers. Now all of us probably seen TV, the cowboy movies and stuff like that. And this is a single action revolver. The trigger releases a cocked hammer. That's all it can do. It cannot fire it again. Now, a double action revolver, like this one right here, by pressing the trigger, it cocks the hammer, then releases it. So that's a double action. It cocks and releases it. But on this particular one, we can also cock the hammer and put it to a single action mode where the trigger is releasing a cocked hammer. Now on autoloaders, we have the same thing. This is a single action, more or less, autoloader, meaning the trigger is only releasing a striker. And as soon as the striker is released, I can't press it and cock the striker and release it. It requires the recoil to cock the striker. Now, on this particular autoloader, again, we're going to make sure nobody's home. By pressing the trigger, it releases a striker, but it doesn't require the slide to come back to set the trigger. It just keeps on going. So, although it will require for the slide to come back, extract the empty casing, and strip a new round into the uh, chamber for it to fire. But this is pretty unique, this system. Now, as we look at the size of these things, there's a big disparity between the sizes. Folks come in sometimes with a completely misnomer or an idea that the smaller the firearm, the less it recoils. And it's completely opposite. The smaller, the lighter the firearm, the more it's going to recoil. Usually this type of handgun right here is for experts. Guys are really familiar with firearms. They give up a lot. In other words, this is so light that you almost don't even know you have it with you. They're willing to do that for all the excessive recoil that it comes with it. So we all have to make a choice where will this firearm serve us? Is it basically for us to carry all day long? The smaller the light of the gun, the better it is. Just for carrying. But if we plan on keeping it in some place where we're not carrying it all day long, like in a house or something like that, the larger the firearm is going to be beneficial. Now, revolvers are restricted to how much ammunition they can carry mainly because it depends on the size of the cylinder. This is a six shooter. This one is five. With an autoloader, it depends on the capacity of the magazine. Now this particular one holds 17 rounds, or correction, 18. 18 rounds of that gun. With the small one is six. So it depends on the purpose would you plan on doing with this? You know, if you plan on carrying a gun for concealed carry, if it's too intrusive, 
you won't have you won't take it with you because it weighs too much or it's too bulky on the other hand if it's meant to be for house protection the bigger guns the larger guns will recoil less and it's easier to operate well that's the difference between revolvers and auto loaders like i said when you come in and talk to us we try to figure out what your need are what your need is and maybe direct you towards something that won't be a mistake for you. Well, thanks for talking to us again. And uh, again, we're flowermelontradingpost.com on the internet. Thank you.